could that be? Soapnet. Every day, a new twist. Previously on One Life to Live. Can Natalie and I stay with you for a while? Can you do me a favor and not tell Mom that I'm moving out? I have a document containing the signature of Victor Lord. I need it. I took a, a peek at Pop's new will and Mitch Lawrence gets everything. I must make things right. Evangeline Williamson. Alan Dershowitz, right? Actually, Johnny Cochran. <laughs> so, Mitch Lawrence is really lucky to have a lawyer like you. Why, you really pulled bail out of your hat, didn't you? I mean, that guy. It's why they pay me the big bucks. Yeah. Starting to really wonder where he gets those big bucks. I don't do interviews, Mr. Manning. Oh. So you do know who I am. When someone breaks into my office, I make it my business. How about we make a business together? Okay, 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 okay. I am sleeping in the living room, and that's it. All right, fine. Well, at least let me stay out there, then. No, I can't do that to you. You're still recovering. Uh, and you're not? Well, I have to admit, having my own bathroom be kind of nice. Well, Natalie, that's... Address book with the registration forms. But why didn't you say anything? Joy, why didn't you tell me that you were here? I was caught up in the song. Who wrote that anyway? Why? I don't know, I'm just wondering. It's um it's nobody. You wrote it, didn't you? Bites, huh? Not to me. Really? Hey, I'm no record producer, but anyone can tell you've got talent. Yeah, she's got talent, all right. Where's your guy? All right, well, he's uh, a little late. Listen, I don't have time for this, okay? I don't have time for anything. I don't even have time to sleep anymore. He'll be here. Well, he better be. Because if he doesn't show, I am toast.
And what business could we possibly have together, Mr. Mann? I want you to be my lawyer. I thought Sam Rappaport was your attorney. Yeah, a little conflict of interest there. Well, we've got one here considering your relationship with my client. Dump him. For you? Oh, yeah. yeah I can give you things that he just can't give you. You think so? Oh, no, I know so. I run a newspaper. And I have a feeling you're going to have the political itch. I scratch your back, you scratch mine. I scratch away. See, I, you know, it's the only way that we both win. But you see, I don't need you. You seem to need me, so unless you're willing to give me full disclosure, we're through here. Um, you know, I, I, uh, I want to see the original copy of Victor Lord's will. Not a chance. He's my father. Yes, and the two of you are so close. Look, I'm going to contest the will, so I'm going to see it anyway. This just speeds everything up for everybody. If your father had wanted you to see it, he would have left instructions to have it shown to you. But he chose not to. Yeah, because your client conned him. Your father's will is confidential information, Mr. Manning, which you attempted to steal from my office while out on bail. You know, that alone could put you away for the rest of your prime, so get out of my face. Or I'm pressing charges. You're not going to press charges. If you were to press charges, you would have pressed charges already. And miss all this fun. I'm going to enjoy working you over. Mr. Manning. What took you so long to get here, Victoria? Where's my father? Oh, you're too late. Did he die? Not yet. They just took him to the OR. But there's not much hope. So why are you smiling? Well, I should think this would come as good news to you. But not to you, especially considering the unbelievable things you tried to do to keep him alive. Well, I'm only thinking of you, Vicky. Really? Well, then I have to wonder what's going on. What are you up to now? out, okay? I'm already on academic probation. Well, how'd you let it get that far? <laughs> Things happened, okay? I missed some classes. I just missed my history final. Fucking psych. That paper's through an English lit and soch. <sighs> if I don't get to see average, they're gonna boot me out. So where is your friend? You know, there are other ways to get by in school. Yeah, what, like you? Well, I'm pulling a 3-2. What? How? <laughs> you just... Gotta be creative. You should have told us that you were in here. Well, I didn't want to interrupt. You heard us? I wasn't eavesdropping. No, that, that's not what I meant. Well, you should have known that I was coming here anyway. I said I was coming back to get Christian's room ready for Mom. the two of you. Mom. Uh, well, look, you've explained already. You don't need to say anything more. I'm sleeping on the couch, Mommy. You are? Yes. Natalie insisted. Oh, well, don't, don't do it on my account. Mrs. Vega, it's really okay. Um, Let me get to uh, make some room for you in here. Oh, no, no, no. I can work around Christian's things. Oh, Natalie, These actually... These are my things. Yours? Yeah, this is my mom's bathroom, too. Yeah, uh, my bedroom is right on the other side. We'll be sharing. So um, it's not quite as lavish here as Landfair. Mommy. Um, well, let me, let me move some of these things right now. Look, I, I really don't want you to go into any trouble. Oh, um... Uh, no, it's, it's, you're going to need some space for all the makeup you wear. Well, uh, what are you going to do with all the stuff that you need? Look, Mom, if Natalie's had a rough day, okay? Of course. I'll get out of your way. It's not going to be for long, Mrs. Vega. Yeah, just so we, we can find a place where I'll... Well, don't be rushed. Mi casa es su casa. Oh, goodness, that took longer than I thought. I need to get back. I'll see you later. You'll see when you get. That went well. Hey, come on. Don't even, don't even stress it. You did great. Well, your mom didn't seem to think so. It'll get better. Two women sharing a bathroom? Hun, you really are clueless, aren't you? You got something to say. Well, what's your problem? My problem is you got to fly drunk. Took her to a hotel and then trashed the place. 
Your point? My point is she's underage. You mess with her again, and you're going to jail. What are you, a cop? Just back off. Don't mess with her again. She's not worth it anyway. You're not going to tell me to butt out? Nope. You're welcome. Okay. Okay? So, if you ever need any help or... With what? What we were talking about before, about your family. You know, I, I told you already that I really don't want to talk about them. Okay, uh... Maybe there's someone else you're close to. What if there was? I could help you get with them. You know what? Who, who do you think you are anyway, huh? The miracle worker? You gotta save somebody and I'm the designated victim, huh? You have a lot of potential. And I don't want to see you toss it all away. You know what? I'm just fine. Thanks. No. No, you're not. Why, huh? Because I'm not perfect like you with your perfect life and your I perfect family. I didn't say that. But you're thinking it. Listen, I know this is not the life that you want. How do you know that that's not what I want? You're running from something. But it doesn't work. Trust me, I know. Wherever you go, it catches up with you. So you have to turn around and face it sooner or later. And I would help you if you'd let me. But I can't if you won't. Oh, I guess that's that. You know where to find me. Dr. MacGyver, what is going on with my father? Your father went into cardiac arrest, but we were able to stabilize him for now. How long does he have? Not long. Have you been able to find a heart donor? No, we haven't. What about your husband, Vicky? From what I've heard, he's practically brain dead. Not much use for a heart there. <clears throat> Why don't you give it a rest, Lawrence? Hey, I was only trying to be helpful. <sighs> Vicky, we're having an artificial heart flown in. But your father's unconscious, so he can't sign these papers. Now, you're the next of kin. So you want my permission to operate, is that it? Well, it's an experimental procedure with a high risk factor. We can't do it without your consent. Look, I'm not trying to be pushy here, but you're gonna need to make a decision pretty soon. It's a sign, Vicky, from heaven. Go to hell. An answer to your prayers. After everything your father has done to you and your family, all you have to do is let him die. Sorry, I didn't see you here. Did something happen? No, did, nothing I shouldn't have expected. What happened to the arena? Uh, Mitch got out on bail. No way. I couldn't believe it either. Well, how's Mom? Well, you know her, always trying to be strong and brave, but it's got to be killing her. Yeah. yeah, and then that stuff with Grandpa Victor still being alive. I don't know how she can deal with it. Same as you? Yeah, not very well. You're doing fine. How about you, Joey? What about me? Come on. Something's got you bummed. How about helping you for a change? I don't think you can help. If... Not if you don't let me. 
No, I was just thinking that about someone else. You okay? I don't belong here, Christian. You belong with me, Natalie. Hey, come on, don't don't let my mom get to you. Not that. Well, what is it? Look at this room. Oh well, yeah, yeah. My mom brought all this stuff back out as soon as I moved out. Life's here. You were in Little League. Yeah. And soccer and Boy Scouts. I mean, look at all these trophies. Believe it. It's really not a big deal. They give these out to you. They give them, they give them to everybody. <laughs> these. <laughs> Did you really draw this when you were young? Yeah, yeah. My mom is a real pack rat. She knew you were talented back then. She must have really believed in you. Well, that's what moms do. Yeah. Yeah, it was like that for Jessica, too. <laughs> Mom has every award and honor roll certificate that she ever had. Every recital tape. <laughs> she had a birthday party every year, sometimes even two. You know, your mom would have done the same for you. Yeah. It's too late to worry about that now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, go ahead, laugh. I like to see your pictures. There weren't too many of those. Roxy didn't want to spring for him. Roxy didn't really save any of your stuff, huh? Yeah, well, as far as she was concerned, my childhood kind of got in her way. Be glad that's over. Yeah. There's a lot of things that I wish were over. Which Lawrence really did a number on us, huh? Hey, you know, we gotta get this, uh, lawn washed out. Yeah, well, you can't. Are you sure? It's bleached. Well, we can try anyway. We? Well, yeah, my mom's not around. We have the shower. Why are you suddenly so anxious for my father to die? But you're not. He wanted to kill our daughter, Vicky, and he would have if it weren't for me. Don't you? dare try and play the hero. You were going to kill Natalie for Jessica. But what about your father? He forced you to make a choice. Which daughter should live and which one should die? Well, I didn't do it, did I? You were spared it. But what if you weren't? Of all the despicable things your father did to you, molesting you as a child, shattering your sanity, this may have been the worst. Oh, if he lives, the abuse will continue. You know I'm right, Vicky. Come on, what are you waiting for? Just let him go. No, if you can't, then let Nikki or Tori or... Let one of your altars finish the job. You don't have to smother him with a pillow this time. All you have to do is refuse to sign those papers. And your father will be gone forever. Don't listen to him, Vicky. Todd? He got the old man to change his will. What? Leaving everything to Lawrence. 
in exchange for Jessica. That's why he tried to pass Natalie off as Jessica, because he knew the heart wouldn't match. The old man would never make it out of surgery. And everything would go to Lawrence. All the money, all the papers, all the property, the whole package, Vicky. Everything that's ours. Can I get another cup of coffee over here? God, you call yourself a waitress? Haven't you had enough? You can't cut me off. This isn't a bar, okay? Now get me my check. <laughs> Gladly. There. And don't ask me for anything else this time, unless you're gonna tip me. Oh, I I'm sorry, you wanted to tip. Well, here's a tip. Get a life! You know, when I heard about you saving Jen's life in the snowstorm, I actually thought for two minutes that there might be a decent person somewhere underneath the jerk. I guess not. Guess not. Now, what did you blow her off like that for? You could have been having her, you know, doing your papers for you or taking her class notes. That's how you get a 3-2. Among other things. <laughs> Forget it. Why? Why? Because I don't suck up, okay? And I don't use people. Everyone else does. Yeah, well, that's great for everybody else, okay? Jeez, you know, you and my dad get along just great. Yeah. Hey, man, it's me. Hey, uh, where are you? We can wait. Meet me at uh, 15 Esperanza Street. All right. We're there, thanks. Is that the guy? Yeah, he wants us to meet him. Good, let's go. Come on. Say your tutor. For the learning center at the university. Huh. We need to talk. I'm telling you, this is not gonna work. It's worth a try. Christian, I am such a mess. A beautiful mess. Yeah, right. Natalie, we're gonna fix your hair. Don't worry about it. Yeah, but you can't fix me. Can you stop that? And why do you do that to yourself? I hate everything that's happened to you, and if I could change it, I would, but... I mean, Natalie, it's made you who you are. It's you that I love, and I wouldn't want to change it. I'm gonna do it again. Don't say that. There's nothing I want to do for you, Natalie. Don't you know that? Looks like things quieted down. Maybe you can help me with the payroll. Oh, sure, Mrs. Vega. I've actually been thinking about pursuing a career in accounting. Really? I'm sure you'd be very good. Oh, no. What's wrong? I left the ledger at home. Well, I'll cover for you while you go back. Mm, I can't. Natalie's staying with us, and I told Christian that I wouldn't be back until later. You shouldn't let someone like Natalie stop you from going back to your own home. Ay, Dios mío, Senora Vega, es su casa. You're right. So it wasn't enough to take my daughter's. You want everything. Well, everything is what you took from me, Vicky. As she sow, so shall ye reap. And the Lord's will be done. Not this Lord. And not this will. <sighs> the 
Vicki, the artificial heart should be arriving any time now. Have you decided what you want to do? You bet I have. I want my father to live. Well, if he does live, it won't be for long. Hopefully just long enough to see you put away forever. Well, you just better pray that he survives the surgery. In fact, it may already be too late. Me? You know, you did say you'd do anything for me. No, that's not fair. Hey, you shouldn't have said it if you don't mean it. You know I do. Mom? Don't let me interrupt you. I was, but I, um, I had to come back for something I forgot. Just don't worry about this. Just leave it. You know I didn't like a mess in the bathroom. We were going to take care of it. We? You know, I'm trying to be understanding here, Chris. But the minute I'm out the door, the two of you are in the shower together? Mom. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not going to say another word. I'm just going to get what I came for, and I'll be out of your way. the next four nights. You think you can help me? Yeah, anything's possible if you got cash. Well, I'm a little short right now. How short? 20. Get yourself a cup of coffee. Oh, come on, there's gotta be something you can do for me. Hey, just cut him some slack, huh? Why, why should I? He'll owe you one someday. Yeah, he'll owe you one too. I know how you work. Oh, Dad! What are you doing here? What the hell's going on? I'm just, uh, hanging. Some buddies. That's not what I'm talking about. I just came from the diner. You can thank me for covering your bill, otherwise it might be the police here looking for you. Oh, well, I thought I left enough. You've been screwing up a lot lately. Your mother and I just got a letter from the college about your grades. I thought you said it was under control. Look, it is under control, okay? I, I'm doing better, okay? Look, look, I aced that, that, that history final. Remember? Look, I got things under control, Dad, honestly. Yeah. Well, I'm doing my part, too. I hired you a tutor. What? No, Dad, I don't need a tutor. Yes, you do, and I would think you know you do. The least you can do is uh, welcome the help. You know, why don't you stop trying to run my life, Dad? Oh, sure, I'll do that. As soon as you start doing a better job of it. I like you're doing such a good job running yours. At least I'm trying to change. Look, Dad, all I need from you is money. For books. I need money for books. Fine. Let's go down to the bookstore and we'll get them. Right now. Come on. Can't you let me do anything by myself? I'm not exactly rolling in the green right now, but, uh... 50 bucks. I know textbooks cost a fortune. Thanks. Now, anything I can do for you, especially when it comes to your school, please. Just keep in touch, all right? Will do. Had father rewrite his will, leaving everything to Mitch as his sole beneficiary. And that means? That means that Mitch gets everything that belongs to this family. 
everything. Well, can't we get Grandpa Victor to rewrite the will? Your grandfather is in surgery right now. He's getting an artificial heart. But he may not survive. Well, then we can contest it. Yeah, well, of course we'll fight it. But in the meantime, darling, Mitch is going to have an awful lot of power. And he's going to use it to try to destroy us. Then we won't let him. We're going to be tested, you know, as we never have been before. He's already tried to pit us against each other. He's going to lose, Mom. I'm so grateful I have my children. Oh. Good, OK. I'm going to find Natalie and tell her what's going on. Uh, Natalie's not home. Oh, well, when will she be back? I, uh, I can't say. OK, where is she? I promised Natalie I wouldn't tell you. Jess. Uh, um, Natalie moved out. What? Why? She wanted to be with Christian. But that's ridiculous. They were going to live together in the carriage house. They wanted to live somewhere else. Where? Um, well, when I talked to Natalie earlier on the phone, she said that um, her and Christian were going to move in with Christian's mom until they find their own place. For heaven's sake, she needs to be with her family now, more than ever. That's what I told her. But what did she say? She's just, um... You know, she's just mixed up a lot of, about a lot of things right now. I'm gonna go find Natalie. Uh, Jess, what's really going on? What I said. Uh-uh. You know, Mom's right. Mitch is gonna try to tear this family apart. I just hope it's not already working. Can I get you anything? Um, no. Uh-uh. So what did you want? I, um... I just, I wanted to apologize for going off on you earlier about trying to help me. That's it? I came all the way down here to say that I'm sorry and that's not good enough. No. So do you want me to beg for your forgiveness or something? I want you to let me help. Oh, man, Nina, this is never going to end. Would it kill you? No. You know you can trust me, Flash, right? But you just don't understand. What? It's not that easy, all right? Especially when someone has broken that trust. Don't you dare. I won't. I promise. And I don't do that unless I mean it. That's it. <clears throat> okay. I'm looking for somebody. Who? Somebody that you know. A friend of mine? Family, actually. Tina's son, your mom's nephew. My cousin CJ? Yeah. I want you to help me find him. There you go. That ought to keep you up till a week from Thursday. Okay. This is gonna make me weird or tweaky or anything, right? Cause, cause I can't handle that. I got no. way too much to work. It's cool, man. It's just speed. Unless you want something to bring you down. No. No, I definitely won't. Uh, after I get all this work done, I won't be needing anything else from you. Sure. Whatever. It's no big deal. I never took anything before. Well, it'll get you through the crunch. Or do what your dad wants and some stranger be your tutor.
father's chances, for real. I'll be straight with you. At your father's age and in his condition, surgery's always a risk. Is that his chart? Yeah, I was just gonna add some notes to it for the surgeon, but your, your father borrowed my pen earlier to write something. What's that? Hmm? Oh, here's the pen. What is this? Oh, that's one of the brochures that we hand out. It's writing on it. Let's see. Victor Lord. I can't read the rest. That's why your father must have wanted to borrow the pen and paper earlier. He said something to me about trying to make things right. That that's an I. I, Victor Lord. He was trying to rewrite his will. Well. About time you got here. I've been here. And guess what? Todd Manning tried to make friends. Mm. What was his offer? Pretty empty, and you're getting it all anyway once Victor Lord goes. Yeah, a lot of good it'll do me in prison. Have a little faith. I'm counting on a miracle. And you sure as hell better make it happen. busy right now. Can I talk to you about something? Can I wait? No. If you come to apologize. Well, I I am sorry that it's not working out with me there, so. You're moving out. Christian and I both are. Oh. I see. Look, it's it's not any good for all of us living together like that. And... Then come home, Natalie. <laughs> Stay tuned for scenes from the next one. Are you and CJ involved? Are you going to help me or, or not? If you had to choose, you would pick her. So why won't you just admit it? This isn't about me. This is about Vicky. So unless you want Vicky to lose everything that she has, you better start listening. Love to dish the soaps? So do Lisa Rinna and Ty Treadway, the hosts of Soap Talk, the talk show only SoapNet could do. Catch it weekdays at 9 a.m. and again at 7 and 12 midnight. Log on to SoapNet.com for more info. Only on SoapNet.